good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about impedance calculation, which is uh, will be, as you will see, a complex number calculation. Okay, so I'll share my screen with you. Parallel circuits. The two resistors Z1 and Z2 are connected in a parallel circuit. The total impedance in this case is capital Z equal to Z1 times Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Find the total impedance if Z1 is equal to 4 plus 3i and Z2 is equal to 5 minus 2i. Okay. So the total impedance Z is given by Z1 multiplied by Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Okay. So it is Z1 is 4 plus 3i times 5 minus 2i divided by 4 plus 3i plus 5 minus 2i. Okay, so we will first file out the two factors in the numerator. So foil means first term first. So 4 times 5 is 20. Then outside, which is 4 times minus 2i is minus 8i. Then inside for i, which is 3i times 5, which is plus 15i. And then the last terms, which is plus 3i times minus 2i. So it is minus 6i squared divided by, in the denominator, we have 4 plus 5 is uh, 9 and 3i minus 2i is just i. So in the numerator, we know i squared is minus 1. So it is 20 plus 15 minus 8 is plus 7i plus 6, plus 6 because I squared itself is minus one. So six times minus one, minus six times minus one is plus six. So in the numerator, we have 20 plus six, which is 26 plus seven I divided by nine plus I in the denominator. Now we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of nine plus I, which is nine minus I. Plus I is, represent, is replaced by minus I. So it is nine minus i in the numerator and nine minus i in the denominator. Now in the numerator, we foil it. So 26 times nine is 234 first term. Outside is 26 times minus i is minus 26i. Inside is seven times nine plus 63i. And then the last term, seven i times minus i is minus seven i squared. So in the numerator and in the denominator, we have a plus B times A minus B, which is 81 minus I square. A plus B times A minus B is A square, which is nine square minus B square minus I square. Now I square is minus one. So we replace I square by minus one in the numerator and in the denominator. So we have 234 minus 26 plus 63 is plus 37 I and minus seven times minus one becomes plus seven divided by 81 plus one. So in the numerator, we have 234 plus seven is 241 plus 37i divided by 82. We separate this into the real number portion and the complex portion. So we need divide 82 by the numerator and denominator. So 241 by 82 for the real part plus 37 by 82 for the imaginary part, which is the coefficient of the imaginary number i. Okay, so that is your final answer for the total impedance. Okay, I will stop here today. Shoot me a comment if you have any question and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please uh, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I come back every time with new problem, new solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.